and all that stuff over again. Were you unhappy coming out of the combine? Yeah, uh, that was far from my best performance at the combine, and uh, I improved everything today. Did you see the numbers already then? Uh, no, I just told them they were better. What's this process been like for you from, you know, I mean, football season and moving on to the next phase of your football career? I think it comes at you really quickly. Um, we played January 1st and the Senior Bowl was a few weeks later, and from there the Combine was a few weeks later, and here we are today. So um, and it comes at you fast, but it's been a lot of fun. These next two months, obviously, you'll keep working out and stuff, but just what's kind of your mindset going into the draft? Uh, continue to improve. That's always my mindset. Have some individual workouts with teams scheduled throughout these two months. Uh, need to perform well with those. You glad that this portion is almost over? Because obviously your strengths on the football field maybe not from the 40s and all that stuff. Uh, I'm not glad it's over. I enjoyed it, but um, I, I'm looking forward to doing more football specific things and individual drills and ultimately uh, to camp at the end of the season. That's, that's what I love to do. Uh, I enjoyed this, but football is my passion, so it's a lot more fun playing the game. I think it's nice to talk to you, Chris, about the process. Uh, I'd never really run a 40, so I ran one in high school. Uh, training like a track athlete was something new to me. I learned a lot of good things throughout that process that I'll carry over uh, to my adult career. What were your impressions of Dez and what he did today in the 40 and the 40? Uh, I wasn't surprised. I've um, seen that for years now, and uh, that's Dez. I think what he really helped himself in was the drills. Um, that 40 and the bird translated into uh, things that actually matter on the football field. Uh, really excited for Des. How did today compare to the combine? Just in comfort level and just, just everything? A lot easier. Uh, didn't sleep much at the combine. Uh, you know, a whole new setting. You're here, I'm comfortable. And it was great to be here with my teammates, too. I uh, missed a lot of these guys. I haven't seen them since the whole game, so uh, enjoyed it here. Do you think they're going to kind of get over the hype thing when you size thing? Do you think they're getting over it or are they going to get over it? It's probably different by team. I know a lot of teams like prototypical guys. Uh, other teams like great football players. So hopefully I'll stick with the latter. What do you think of playing Wisconsin? How do you think that helps you translate to what you're going to face in the NFL? Different defenses and things like that. What do you think you've learned here? Um, you know, specifically the defenses, uh, it's been great. We've been the defensive coordinators, four different linebackers, coaches. Uh, more generally, I think, just how we go about the process, how hard we work, how good teammates we are here. Um, ultimately, that's going to help me more. Is it easy transferring from one linebacker coach to the next for so many years? Do you think that that's one of the big benefits you have, that you easily can translate to a new system, a new way of coaching? I think so. Um, it wasn't exactly easy. Um, a lot of different personality types, different schemes, different techniques, but uh, ultimately, I think that'll help. It was like there's 40 times a I did. I don't know what I ran, but I was I did. Was that a goal? Or? Was it important? Or? Yeah, I didn't have my best. I think uh, I need to do that. Uh, obviously, I'm inside my bag here, so I don't think I'm an outstanding time. This late in the game, there's no more games. There's all these workouts. Do you feel like the media and, and some people get caught up too much in the workout numbers and forget that this is a, a game of football and there's a lot of tape that you've created to back up your play? Yeah, I think tape's the most important thing. Um, you, know, you shouldn't ignore the numbers. The numbers are important, but um, you know the film's number one. So I think teams know that. I've talked to position coaches that understand that and uh, are excited. What do you think you've put on tape that, that's most impressive? What's what does that tape say about you? The feedback I've got is the way I play the game and my instincts. So um, high motor and uh, intelligent player. So it's the feedback I've gotten, and uh, I'm confident with the film I've Any team that drafts you, what type of player are they getting? What type of person as well? I think on the field, like I said, uh, play the game the right way. Uh, smart player, make the guys around me better, uh, play fast. Uh, as far as off the field, uh, I think that's a strength of mine, uh, being a leader, being a good locker room guy, high character guy. I think I can help a team from that aspect. Is this the time of year, Chris, too, where they just kind of pick you apart and find your fault? Yeah, it's like a devaluation process. Um, but, uh, you know, as an NFL fan, guys, a lot of money. I think it's important to understand uh, what they're getting. And, uh, you know, it's something you got to do, but I think I've handled it fairly really well. The draft is so late, they got more time to do it, <laughs> don't they? Yeah, uh, time to second guess themselves, check you out even more, but that's okay. I'm confident. Does it come back to the film then at the end, or do you think? I think that's the most important. Uh, you know, there are teams that uh, get caught up with numbers, I think, but um, if you play the game, you play the game. Is your scheme going to matter to you? Do you fit maybe more in a 3 4 type things than inside? Or? Uh, I've heard both. Uh, I've interviewed a lot with 4 3 teams as a mic, and then obviously on the inside, either position in a 3 4. So uh, yeah, I can play either. I showed that at Wisconsin, and yeah, I'm here at the next level as well. Chris, do you want something to be in the first round? 